Freddy fever. Uh, one vamp pumpkin, one spider-shaped sandwich, hold the mummy mail. Morning. Will you go up and make sure V's getting ready for school? I don't want her to be late. You got it. We'll have her ready and out the door before you can say boo. <laughs> v, are you up? V, you've got to get up and get dressed for school. Rise and moonshine, screamy head. Uh. V needs a brand new look. Something that says, ready for the big test, or a uh, dodgeball captain. What do you think? Oh, you're looking really under the weather. And not in a good way. Yeah. Eggs under your eyes are gone. I think it's batty fever. Batty. Hey. Then, <laughs> you turn into a bat. And not like a normal bout of the batties. Batty fever is really contagious. What's contagious? V, what are you still doing, home? Shouldn't you be in... Uh, uh, uh -oh. Looks like we've got another one. Okay, this is serious now. Demi, Gregoria, you put these two to bed. I'm going to hurry and brew that potion. Gregoria and I are going to take good care of you. Yeah, we gargoyles have cure-alls that go back hundreds of years. All you have to do is sit on a flat rock for eight hours and think happy thoughts. I don't see what a piece of salad is gonna do. Uh, Demi? Four leaf clover a try? I've heard great things from Patty, my leprechaun friend. Oh, sorry. With just the right ingredients. Then you've called on the right monster. Gargoyles are always careful and exact when it comes to following recipes. And you have careful hands. I can handle this recipe on my own. Hmm. Now that the cauldron is hot and bubbling, I need to add feet. This is taking forever! Can't you put them in a little faster? Right is more important than fast. 28. Will this ever end? 29. Are, are, are you sure that's right? It kind of smells like troll feet. Of course it is. This is a potion, not a screen berry milkshake. It doesn't have to taste. <gasps> that doesn't seem right. What? What is it? Ah! No, not right at all! Sign of an overcooked potion. Well, don't worry. We'll try again. And faster this time, too. Not on me, you won't. I'm out of here. Okay, let's try it again. Only this time, I'll try and work twice as fa fast as in my middle name. <laughs> Gregoria, I think it's time to put the ghost in the game. Berries? Bunch of, bunch of what now? And the rest. And now for the stirring. One, two, three, four, four. Finish stirs. Done. Let's just say I'm glad I'm not the one with baddie fever. Hurry up. We have patience. Did it work? I am 99% sure that it did. <gasps> Actually, it's always the goat that'll eat anything that gets you. Well, that was a disaster. <laughs> Gregoria got the recipe right, but overcooked it. And I made it quickly, but that didn't work either. We should have just gotten a mummy and a troll instead. We really do, you know, mess things up and love you. Demi, you're so exciting and fun. That's what makes you good together. I mean, you're so good together, we thought you were making the potions as a team. Not by yourselves. A team? Yeah, I know you can do it. Yeah, I bet we can. Let's do it, my goofy ghoul. And go! Easy, easy. Ingredients are in. Now for the stirring. Tell me when, Gregory. Smells good, too. <laughs> That's a first. Now let's get it upstairs. Everyone cross your fangs. Let's hope this batch is a winner. Did it work? Did it? I do feel a bit more like myself. You make a great team. Hmm, we do, don't we? You must admit, our personalities are good. We sing our song in haunting harmony. You know it's true, oh, we're one eerie and sarcastic. I play fast and loose while you're more by the book. I'm sturdy as stone. I'm bouncy and though we're contrasting. This bond's everlasting. We make a terrific team. Oh, Wolfie, did you come to check up on us? Oh, no. I know who I'd want helping me out. Yeah. Poetry Day. Uh, uh, class, I'd like to remind you that tomorrow is Poetry Day. Vampirina, that sounds very artistic. Uh, 
I look forward to hearing it. I think. Okay. Darkness under my bed at night. Uh, read her poem. I'd like everyone to perform with that kind of uh, joie de vivre. <laughs> What's your poem about? It's about a butterfly that soars into the sky and learns to fly. What about you, Bridget? I don't exactly have a poem yet. <laughs> of course you can. I'm so nervous. I don't know what I'm going to do. I do. And tomorrow, you'll be a poetry star. OK. My poetry books are divided into three categories, making me jumpy. Hello! <laughs> Hi, Demi. Hi. You need some help? We're looking for a book of poems so Bridget can practice with scholars. Here's a big anthology called Odes to Ooze. Petrifying poems about... To be honest, no way, no way. They fill me with dismay. There's absolutely, positively, no way. OK, what about shrines for dragons, goblins, ghosts, and elves? No way. No way, perhaps another day. But for the moment, really, truly, no way. We'll choose a verse and then rehearse for poetry day. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Is about spinning cups. Spinning cups. I like that. Go ahead, Bridget. Read it out loud. You are one nervous Nelly. <laughs> Let's do a warm up. That's it, that's it. Now, disappear, <laughs> reappear, disappear, reappear. Um, I'm pretty sure I can't do that. Oh, right. What was that? I don't know. Probably just my mom making dinner. She does cook very loudly. <laughs> Read the poem again. Mighty bath wings. Did, Did you, you do, do that? that? No. no. Something strange is going on here. Usually I like strange, but this is very strange. You're doing great. I'm scared of thunderstorms. But it's just a poem about a thunderstorm. Oh, there's nothing to be afraid of. Try it. And this time... In the living room. You read that so beautifully, I feel like I actually heard thunder. That's because you did hear thunder. First the cup starts spinning around. Now this? Wasn't Pennsylvania supposed to move us away from the weird? We must figure out... Like... Uh, Poppy and Edgar. That's a great idea. I'll go over there right now. Thanks, Vambrina. Why is it so... or strange, strange? Strange, strange. Nope. Bridget and I were just upstairs reading poems. Let's see. Uh, cups, cups, spinning round, float up high, crash to the ground. <gasps> Rain pours in the living room. What is going on? Spells? We need to get it back before she reads anymore. To humans. I think it might be too late for that. Look. The poem is called Flying Flowers. Flowers sit in pretty rows, but in the air, anything goes. Ah, <laughs> <Good job>, Bridget. <sighs> <sighs> that was close. We've got to get that book back. <gasps> Vibrina? When did you get here? But I was just about to read another poem. No! But you were the one who said I needed to practice. So I'm going to practice. Oh, here's a poem about a frog. Grow all day. <gasps> Bridget, everything okay, pumpkin? <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. No, no, that sounds like a real frog. A real and really big frog. Yeah, which would be totally awesome. I bet it's close by. <gasps> Edgar, be a dear and help me. We'll get water for everyone. <sighs> okay, Mom. Vaprina thought she gave Bridget a book of poems, but it was really a book of spells, and that made the cups crash, a rainstorm inside the house, and a giant frog appear. Is that true? Is this really a book of... What? what? If you finish the poem, the spell will end and the frog will go away. But I... I, I can't. Just read. Demi and I will take care of the rest. <laughs> Back and forth across the yard, catching frogs can be quite hard. <laughs> but try and try and you will see. Finally, you read the poem perfectly. I know. I wasn't nervous at all. I was too busy watching you chase that giant frog. School tomorrow? No more giant frogs. Did you see how high that thing could leap? His webby toes just ew, bounced right through me. Whoa. We can't bring a frog. Next up, Bridget. Starfish at sea. 
Your pretty shape, your pointy ends, you're my favorite ocean friend. Thank you.